Hey, what is good with you? It is your boy Travis Kinley coming back to you with another one. Sitting out here waiting to eat with somebody, but I got plenty of time to spare. So I was like, bro, let me make a video. I ain't made a video in so long, and I know I needed to get this announcement anyways. But, um, man, keep it 100 with you. I have really just not been feeling YouTube lately. It's been obvious for those of you who tuned into my channel like that. It has been very obvious. Um, I have not been feeling YouTube lately. Uh, it's been months now I've been feeling this way. You know, I've talked to a few close friends about it. Justin, Ross, you know. But I'm just not Rob. I think I talked to him about it. I have just not been feeling YouTube lately. So I've been sparingly making videos every once in a while or whatever. So that's why I've been kind of disconnected. If you if you follow or have used to follow uh, the rare few, um, that summarizes a little bit why I haven't been feeling YouTube lately. So that's why you haven't seen me. My hair's growing back. How about that? That's really why you haven't heard from me, man. Um, a, a, a lot has changed clearly by this video, Left Landstar. A lot has changed. A lot has been going on. Um, not that much, honestly. Not in my opinion. But clearly this has changed. Things definitely have been changing since, you know, since I've been uh, kind of away from YouTube a little bit. Um, but... Like I said, in my opinion, it don't seem like much change. I'm just Travis, man. I guess for y'all, it might seem that way because you're not close with me or something like that. Like, you don't talk to me every day. You know, all you know is what I put on the internet, which isn't really isn't that much, even though some people act like it's a lot. Uh, but, uh, I mean, it just that's just the nature of the beast. Nevertheless, I have left Landstar. You see the title of the video, no clickbait there. I have left Landstar. I am no longer an independent contractor with Landstar. Um, naturally, people want to know why I left Landstar. Um, you know, I can't get into the whole thing because I don't have enough time. I mean, it had to be a live event or something like that. But naturally, here's a, here, the, the shortest I can put it is this. Here's the reason why I left Landstar. I left Landstar because Landstar d does not align with my goals. Actually, it's not just it's not really Landstar. The way I set up my business did not align with my long-term goals. Man, if you've been on my channel for a while, you know I believe in goal-oriented decisions. I don't believe decisions are right or wrong, black and white. I believe decisions are right for some people and wrong for others. Some decisions, I mean like, you know, if you're doing drugs, like, that's just not good for everybody, okay? <laughs> I don't know what else, okay? It's not good for anybody to be an alcoholic, okay? But there are a lot of decisions in life that are right for some and wrong for others, and I believe that you should make decisions based on your goals, goal-oriented decisions. And uh, the way I set up my business is not right for my goals. And uh, over a two- to three-week span, I realized that. And it was like this reckoning time period for me that climaxed to the top of, hey, dude, wisest thing you can do is cash out. Like being in a casino. Literally, I realized, wisest thing you can do right now is cash out. You've made money. You've been profitable. You've came stop while you're up and don't continue down a course if it's not leading you toward your goals. Um, you know, at first I thought I got off track, but then I was talking to my buddy JR, shout out to him. I was talking to him and he asked me, he was like, did you get off track or did you change track? So I think we use the word course. Did you get off course or did you change course? And I really appreciated that he asked me that because I agree with him 100%. I changed course. If you've been following me from the beginning, you may know, you probably know, I had specific goals when I left to go to Prime. I remember my wife and I set these goals weeks before I left to went to go to Prime. Weeks before. And those goals were one, obtain your CDL license. Two, pay Prime back for the training. You got to do a year worth of uh, time with them to pay them back for the training. And three, to chart a course back to the house. And then while on that course, I started, um, 
you know, setting other goals. You know, never intended to be a lease driver from the get-go. Never intended to be a lease driver while I was training with Prime. Didn't intend to be a lease tri driver after I got out of training. But then I set the goal, want to be a lease driver. Became a lease driver. Want to buy a truck, bought a truck. Landstar, Landstar. And now I've realized, hey, dude, where is this going to, where does this lead to? What's your end goal here? What are, what, what, what are we doing? How do we go checkmate? Right? And that's where the thinking started. I said, dude, what's your end goal here? Where does this road lead to? It only leads to a few different places. One place that leads to you driving for the next 20 to 30 to 40 years or so. The second place that leads to you being a fleet owner. And the third place that leads to you like running either a an extremely large operation, somebody or you you keep a small operation while other people drive for you and you dispatch, something of that nature. But them the only places it really leads to. And I realized I don't want any of those. So what you gonna do? That's where my brain's turning. Them two to three weeks I told you about. What are you gonna do then? What what are you doing here? And I got to thinking and thinking, I'm like, where can I go from here, man? Where can I go? You know, even if you, you let's say you finance a nice truck and then you pay that truck and then it's paid off and then you buy another one and so on and so on. Is that really what you want to do? No, it's not what I want to do. I've told people on here, I was trying to, you know, I've been trying to like uh, get into real estate and I'm like, where, where are you, what are you doing here? What's more is that I say the way I set up my business, right? I set up my business as a long-term investment plan, but didn't consider the fact that in the I wasn't trying to stay in the trucking industry long-term. What do you mean by you set it up as a long-term investment plan? I bought a cash truck knowing that it's like buying a used lawnmower. I got a lawnmower in my house that's used, and I had to put money into it You know, when I first got it. You buy a used uh, a tra road tractor, tractor, not tractor trailer, but a road tractor, and uh, you basically accept the fact that, you know, you're going to have to put money into it, but it will pay you back in the long run. And I said, well, dude, what are we doing? That business, I mean, that doesn't, that doesn't match with what you're trying to do. So I thought and I thought and I thought and I was like, man, I think I'm going to cash out here. I don't want to continue... Which, you know, I'll be getting my truck back shortly, but I don't want to continue putting money in my truck and then not plan to keep it for it to pay me back. I don't want to, I don't, why don't you get another driver and let somebody, because I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I don't like people. I don't, I don't trust people, to be honest with you. Okay. People always going to let you down. If you're married, you've been married long enough, you already know what the business is. I've let my wife down. My wife's let me down. I'm not talking about like, you know, I'm saying like I stole a million dollars from her. I'm saying people will always upset you. So if I know that to be true about the ones that I care about the most, ain't no way in the world. I'm just not the type. I don't let people just be stuff. No, I don't want no drivers, okay? You ain't going to treat my tractor the way I want, to, I want you to treat it and I got to go through, I got to deal with personalities and you blowing my phone up. I'm trying to do other stuff. Like, it's just not what I want to do. It's not what I want to do. It's not a supervising thing. I've supervised a team of people in the past before. Um, that's just not what I want to do. Goal oriented decisions. Um, so that's the bottom line, man. I left Landstar. It's got nothing to do with Landstar. It's got everything to do with Travis. Man, I enjoyed my time at Landstar. I had such a great time with the team of guys I was working with, the last guys I was working with. You know, I put that video out about me uh, being on a gig with a team of people, that consistent team of people. I had such a great time with those guys, man. If it wasn't for my own personal desires, man, I'd probably done that. I would have done it. I'd have rode that out till the wheels fell off guys were awesome, man. That, that was the ideal. There is no Landstar driver that has a better gig point blank period. Guarantee you. the money's good, but even better than that, 
the the gig was the bomb. There's no Landstar driver that has a better gig. I am so grateful for that opportunity to work with those guys. So, super grateful, man. But, man, I've always lived life like I never want to turn 50, 60 years old and say, I wish I would have dot, dot, dot. So I've always lived in this manner where if I ever had that feeling, I'm going to pull the trigger and try something. If it makes me feel like there's a possibility you'll get old and wish you would have made this decision if you don't make it now. That's what I did. So I'm no longer with Landstar. What are you doing now? I'm already at the 10 and a half minute mark, so I'm gonna have to tell you what I'm doing now later. But I'm on another uh I'm on another adventure. I'm on another adventure, man. I'm so at peace with it. I'm feeling confident about it. And I smile at the memories that I made the last six months in Landstar. That's pretty much it. At peace, I smile about the memories and I just keep on trucking, man. You already know what the motto is. Work hard, play hard, sleep hard, find you somebody to love. I love y'all. Don't forget, it's not about what you believe. It's all about why you believe it. Live free.